The federal government has a big debt. It's a little over $600 billion, and the government spends about $31 billion every year just paying down the interest on that debt. Should we do something about this debt? Do we need to pay it off, or is it fine the way it is? Uh, we should pay down debt when we can afford to pay down debt. Uh, our debt's grown a lot over the last five years because of the recession and uh, the fact that there were less jobs in the country, less tax revenue. So yes, paying down debt... And the government spent a lot. And the government spent a lot uh, on stimulus to stimulate the economy. Um, so we need to pay down debt when we can afford to do it. The problem is the economy is still uh, on a, on, uh, in a very precarious situation. Our growth last year was below expectations and jobs have not rebounded. So at this time we have to get into a fiscal situation that's more sustainable where we have uh, bigger surpluses, then we can afford to pay down the debt. I think the Conservatives were quite prudent to do so before the recession. Now is not the time to do that. I think you have to pay down the debt. It gives you choices when you have debt. If you're in a, a, a terrible economic situation, you don't have any choices. All you have to do, imagine if you racked up all your credit card bills, you wouldn't be able to spend money on anything else. So you have to start to pay that down to give yourself room to make those kinds of choices. So. If you have a $3.7 billion surplus, you need to pay some of it down to give yourself a little bit more wiggle room and then invest in what you need to invest in the economy to help it grow. If not now, when? Right? I mean, we've, we, you ha to, mathematically, you have to be able to pay down debt, you have to have a surplus. So this is the first time in, in almost a decade that we'll have a, you know, a small surplus and what looks like to be a growing surplus. So I think now's the time to at least, uh, you know, if you're going to chip away at a $600 billion debt, you've got to start chipping away, you've got to chip away somewhere. I think we've seen internationally what, what, what can happen if you get, let debt get out of control, whether it's in the United States or Greece or other European countries, where they don't have the ability to spend any money on, right. whether it's infrastructure, transit, uh, uh, you know, t tax relief, it doesn't even matter. You can't make any other decisions unless you get the debt under control. Thankfully, we've, we don't have that problem in Canada, but um, you know, keeping debt low or low-ish uh, internationally, keeping interest rates in, in check, those are the kinds of things that allow us to, uh, to invest in what we need to.